All right. Well, I was not expecting to be doing this stream tonight, guys, but uh, I got an email about an hour and a half ago with the key for the demo. Uh, so I, I had to play it because I have been waiting for this game for so long. Uh, just been dying to get my hands on a playable version of it. So um, super excited to do this. Didn't want to wait any longer. I know it's not the ideal time for doing a stream and it's very late for some of our folks in Europe. But uh, we're going to dive into this. I just installed it and it's been sitting here open while I was eating dinner with my family. So um, so let's dive in. Um, this is not savable. And I believe this is available to the public tomorrow. Uh, so everything I'm doing now, you'll be able to do tomorrow. Um, so, hey, Devin, what's going on? Um, so there's only, it's limited availability of things and you can't save anything. So, uh, but it's just a chance to, to try it out. Uh, Undertaker number one, very cool. Uh, yeah, we, we can expect this is a demo. This is very early. So expect bugs, expect not everything to be available. Um, but uh, rise to prosperity. You are the first lord to settle these lands. Start from nothing and build a prosperous medieval city. I love this. I love the fact that we can um, actually build, like design our own um, coat of arms and everything. Uh, in this case, I'm going to keep it simple just so we can get right into the gameplay. Um, Sir Chris, uh, we'll go with that picture. Let's go. I like that there. Tom, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Um, I'm not going to go too crazy with this. Let's go. Um, I like that. That's kind of similar to the Clifford coat of arms, the background anyway, not the, the cross. Uh, the demo is available tomorrow, not the game itself. I believe the demo is available tomorrow. Exactly what I'm playing now will be available to everyone tomorrow. Um, so... We'll just go with this for now. Keep it nice and simple just so we can dive right into the game. But there's a lot of available features, customization that you can do with this. Uh, just with your designing of your coat, coat of arms. Demo game settings. Um, starting supplies, approval and weather events, balance. We'll just keep everything standard and balanced. Have not played this yet, so have no idea what to expect other than what we've all seen in the gameplay. Demo is available from Monday the 3rd to the 10th. So it'll be available for a week uh, in 17 hours. Awesome. Music. Awesome. I definitely will be getting back to Virginia sometime next year. Um, and Zach, I have FIFA 23 in installed on my Xbox downstairs. I haven't had a chance to play it yet. My 10-year-old has played it, but I have not. All right. So um, starts out, I mean, obviously... It looks like like you know like a Age of Empires type of game. We've got a new message, establishing a foothold. So there are demo um, pop-ups that you get to start this. Um, I believe the demo will be on Steam because that's where I installed it on is Steam. It was a Steam key that they sent me. So um, there's a fire at the heart of every settlement, a bastion of safety, warmth, and light against the darkness of the world. On this cold spring morning, your men blow on their fingertips, their breath clouding the air. So they're getting you right into it with kind of a little bit of the status here. Um, and just kind of giving you a feel for things. Construct a granary, a logging camp, forager hut, storehouse. So pretty standard, um, you know, settlement construction type stuff to start. Uh, so we need a logging camp. Obviously, we want to um, do that somewhere near some trees. Let's get a sense of what we have here all right cool um, we're gonna go over in here somewhere for our logging camp and it uproots some trees to do that unassigned peasants automatically work on construction uh, tier of some UK UK counties I you know I have limited knowledge on UK counties because I've only been in a few of them um, if there's nothing to construct they will help work on buildings with enable idle laborers switched on there's a lot up here um oh wow so content locked in the demo work in progress but we obviously have tech branches or things like that there's policies there's production we can rename our settlement um i'm gonna name this after the the ancient village in nottingham that my family came from edwin stowe 
I like that. It looks like, uh, am I a duke or a count? I think I'm probably more of a baron. Um, it, it is similar like Farthest Frontier, but more medieval. Um, so let's see. We're working on our logging camp. Let's unpause and let that kind of start happening. Um, we have exposed food and storage, so obviously, and home, homeless families, so obviously we need to build something for those. Uh, granary, let's get that going. We need a forager hut to start gathering food. Communal oven, I like it, that's cool. So, let's see, village life storage, here we go, granary. Alright, so let's just go near near the center of town somewhere with that. Yeah, I'm a lord, so... Um, so here I am, all legacy view locked. Uh, very work in progress, visit mode. So yeah, there's remember, there's a lot, lot to do here. There's overlays that we can look at. Underground water, that is cool. So we can kind of see where we want to put wells. Uh, Emmer fertility, flax fertility, barley fertility, rye fertility, and smell. Yeah, so we want to be careful about where things smell. Is it laggy? Um, it shouldn't be, but I, I can check my stream settings. It, it doesn't seem too laggy to me so far. Let's zoom in and get a look at things at the ground level. Yeah, it looks good. It looks real good. I like it. You can click on people and actually see them talking to each other. That is cool. Oh, man. This is, like, is going to feel so immersive. I can already tell how immersive this is going to feel. You're going to get invested in these people, and you can really follow them around at the ground level, and it feels real. Like, look at the, the mountains in the distance and how good that looks. Don't build granary. It's bugged. Oh, well, it says I have to, so I kind of did, but I guess we'll see. See the birds flying around? I guess this is all stuff we'll learn as we go along. So there's the well, and it actually automatically pulls up the groundwater and lets you see where that is. So that's cool. What are my favorite meals? Well, I had uh, penne and meatballs tonight. And that was pretty good. I love pasta. Uh, there's market areas. There's food stalls that can be built. There's a burgage plot. Produces living space for one family. Okay. Flexible plot. Some buildings have flexible borders. Place four points to designate an area. Okay, cursor will snap to the roads and other plots. So I guess we need to probably build roads at some point. Some workers can use hand carts to transport goods more efficiently. Enable hand cart transportation, you need road points. Okay, so, um, all right, so you can see there's actually road points. I like that. I like that a lot. So we'll build that right there, and then of course we can kind of go from there. And bend it around. Nice. Awesome. Workers can't take unthreshed grain back out of the granary, but most of the wheat shouldn't be taken there anyway. Gotcha. Matthew, thank you so much. Um, you're from the Manor Lords Discord. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. And guys, take note of that as well. So if you guys have questions, uh, I am, like I said, I am super pumped about this game. This is right in my historical wheelhouse and my gaming wheelhouse because I love settlement games like this and I love this era of history so it's like a combination of my love so I absolutely know that I'm going to be playing a ton of this game on the channel uh, as it unfolds and I, I'm so excited to watch it as it develops this is one I know a lot of us have been waiting for for a long time so we're going to fast forward a little bit here I mean, just, yeah, just the village making, and then you're going to add, eventually, we're going to have, like, the the military aspect to this, which is going to be so cool. Uh, a modding community is a great question that I personally cannot answer. Maybe others that are here can answer that. Um, so we've got churches and taverns. There's different stalls, firewood, food, clothing. As we said, market area. The army, of course, is not available yet. We're, you know, military recruitment. There's the region map. Awesome. You can actually do conquest. Okay, that's pretty darn epic that you'll be able to say, okay, look at the ma the region map. Uh, obviously, we're in kind of a German-speaking area. I made mine in English sound, but 
uh, and you can see things happening on the map traveling merchants you can see the other areas that can eventually be conquered and what they have like oh man you're like maybe you need an iron deposit so you want to go conquest on these people you can set up trade i love it love it love it love it this is gr good stuff good stuff mod support is planned excellent have I played Medieval Dynasties? A little bit. What did we do to merit three streams? Well, two were unplanned. Like, I didn't know that... Uh, I knew this demo was coming out, but I didn't know that this demo... I was going to get the key for the demo tonight. And I just knew that I had to play it, like, as soon as possible. Um, so let's go back to where I am. Oh, there's me right there. Hey, check me out. I'm looking pretty cool. Looking very spiffy and interesting and important right there awesome so let's go back to our our town here I'm trying to catch up with where i am i'm still learning my way around the map and everything so we're zoomed out pretty far now you can actually see some of the other oh that i like that that's kind of how grand tactician is where if you zoom out far enough you go to a different map and then you can just zoom in i like that I like that a lot do I have a job? Um, I, I have a couple of kind of part-time jobs, but YouTube's my full-time thing now. Um, mostly from the other channel. I don't make that much from the gaming channel. Um, most of my income comes from my Vlogging Through History channel. Uh, so these guys are going to go work on construction. They're going to build the well. Um, our logging camp's built. Our granary's built. Matthew, thank you so much. Church will have a role in, in moral. Very cool. I like it. I like that a lot. Let's go back to construction. Uh, we need a forager hut. So I guess that's going to be under... Not, nah, not farming. That would be under probably village life. Or just... Yeah, let's see. Gathering. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, woodcutter lodge, forester hut. Hunting camp, forager hut. So where do we want to forage? I guess we want to be somewhere where they're... Okay, so right over here in these same woods where our logging camp is. That makes sense. Great question about cultures. Uh, maybe somebody can answer that. Oh, ton of potential. Absolutely, Blairton. Can your character interact with the workers? Can you walk through the settlement? Great question. Um, not entirely sure about that. Homeless families, yeah, we gotta build some some homes. So we're still, I, I'm still on kind of slow mode here while I get these things, these initial buildings built that we need. Um, I think I already queued up one home, didn't I? Maybe not. Oh, no, we didn't because uh, I was looking at how you do that. Oh, we need a storehouse too. So let's queue that up and we'll just, I don't know, maybe do that right in. Um not enough re resources. Okay, so we're going to have to cut down some trees. We're going to need uh, somebody working in the logging camp to make that happen. So let's add, add a couple workers to our logging camp. It's March. So here we go. Frequent raining, buried deposits regrow, plowing for quick summer harvest possible. So it tells you about each of the, the seasons and what can you, you expect as far as how that impacts things that are happening in the game. Uh, the game is not laggy. It might just be my stream settings. Uh, it actually, it's, it's working perfectly. So I might go in, I might have to go in and change my stream settings here um, to make it work a little better for you guys. Give me one second. It might just be my, my bit rate, things like that. Um, let me try to raise that up for you. See if that helps. Because it's definitely, definitely not laggy uh, on my end. Uh, so I can promise you that. Um, Franconia, late 14th century. Only re uh, religion, Christianity. Only Franconian German culture. Okay, cool. Fine by me. So there's uh, our granary. Uh, let's go ahead and add a, a worker. Well, no, I guess we don't really need to add a worker to the granary. We said it's kind of not really working re well so far. There's our well. It's completed. I love. I even love the look of the well and just kind of, you know, kind of what you would expect to see on this. 
the serfs are replaceable. They were made for servitude. You're right, John Michael Chance. That's important for us to remember. So we have exposed storage. We need to make sure we build a storehouse, um, which we'll have the resources for. I guess until we have the resources, we can't queue it up. So we've, we're working on some workers for the logging camp. Unlimited work area. You can actually set the work area uh, that they will have. So we have two guys named Jacob who are woodcutters right now. We can actually zoom in and get a look at them and see what they're up to. There's Jacob number one. And there's Jacob number two. All right, so we have our forager hut queued up. We've got some iron deposit over here that eventually we can you know, make use of in the game. Exposed food, um, I guess maybe that'll be solved by the granary. Yeah, so let's add at least one worker to that and then let's get our homes going uh, once we get our storehouse. All right, we still don't have the wood. So I'm looking, here's our resources up here. So there's crops, food. Right now we just have bread. Fuel, timber, stone, tools, materials. And there's a bunch of different materials. Iron ore, iron slab, flour, pelts, leather, etc. cetera. Uh, commodities, those are you know kind of trading items. And then equipment for upgrading militia and hiring a retinue. Jacob on the grind. That's right. This game does look great. And I, I think it's only going to look better as time goes on. Um, looking at construction, uh, administration and military will be um, eventually available. You can see here you need to have a minimum settle settlement level of medium village. Uh, create a cl closed wall perimeter to designate the area for your manor house. So you can make a bailey wall. So Mott and Bailey, kind of the early fortification type things. Uh, the bailey is kind of the area... Uh, that your village is kind of existing in uh, that's inside of the wall. You can make a tax collector, a garrison tower, extra accommodation for 12 retainers. Is Northeast Ohio the best part of Ohio? I don't personally think it probably is, but <laughs> uh, I live here. lived here most of my life, so. Quack attack. I don't know the answer to that yet, but I would guess probably because we know that um, like happiness and morale and things like that are are factors in this game. So here's current settlement level, Settler's Camp. We need to have five burgage plots to get up to small village. And those are, you know, for our villagers to have somewhere to live. So as soon as I can get my storehouse, which I now have the two wood for, once we build that, then we're going to start queuing up um, these burgage plots for our folks to live in. That'll be under village life. So I might run a road out here. We'll run it from right there. Let's run it out to that main road right there. And then maybe we can put in some houses along there. You're from Michigan, so <laughs> that explains a lot. Tropico, I can I can get a little bit of a Tropico feel here. I feel you on that. So right now they're all kind of camping out in the tents, the homeless tents. Let's see how much materials we're going to need to build one of these. So two wood. So um, so we have to place four borders for this. So uh, there's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four. So we can't build it yet. All oh, the plot's too small. Okay, so let's undo that. we got to make the plot a little bigger. So well, I guess we have to make that a little bit bigger. Let's try this. Not enough resources. So now we're just waiting on uh, waiting on our, our gatherers to get enough wood. We'll fast forward. We'll go up to 16 times speed. There we go. Now we've got that. So there's our first one. We need five of those uh, to house all of our families and to get up to small village as our next level. Uh, we have three months before supplies run out. We have, that's the amount of food we have. Oh, hey, check this out. This is pretty cool. So he's got, he's dragging the logs over. 
Parts of Iron Part 2 video probably Monday or Tuesday. When it shows a house symbol, you can build a house. I appreciate that. And thank you guys so much for like those of you who have been playing the game that are able to tell me these things. So quest completed. Settlement intro. All right. Next, build a wall, build the five plots. So we're doing that. Uh, when you start the demo, you can enable the tutorial. So that's what it's running me through right now is this tutorial. Uh, so we have to, you know what, I'm going to. I'm going to assign another worker to our logging camp. We can have a max of three, so we can gather the logs a little faster. Where is my forager hut? We need to start assigning foragers. So we have food. Need food. And right now, that's the way we're getting food until we start farming and things like that. Yeah, the detail's fantastic. And, oh man, I cannot wait until we get into... Like I said, into into combat and trade and all of that stuff. It's going to be so amazing. Um, and, you know, we've got military recruitment and armies that you can eventually get. So let's go ahead and speed things back up. We'll start queuing up another one of these. We'll put it right next to the first one. There we go. All right, so that wasn't big enough. I guess we need to go wider. Oh, we don't have enough resources. Okay. How did I get the demo? Uh, they sent me a demo code. This is available for everybody tomorrow. Uh, in about 17 hours, it'll be available on Steam to the public. EU4, I played a little bit on the channel, but it wasn't real popular. Maybe because I kind of came late to the party on that. Oh, and I'm doing great. How about yourself? I think you were in the other stream earlier on the other channel, weren't you? Um, so we're working on these first two. Let's see. Um, we're going to need workers. We're waiting for workers to be available to work on these and and to actually do the construction, and you can you can prioritize constru construction when you have multiple things queued up. Got a little lean to going on here. I love the level of detail even in the construction. Really neat stuff. Here comes Nickel. Is that, Is that the sun or fire above? It's sunny weather. He's coming over to get some work done. Oh look, just look at how pretty that is. Like I said, it just. It really helps you to get immersed in the world when you see these guys on this level of detail. I love it. So we're about halfway done now with the actual construction, it looks like, on the first one. Yeah, Victoria 3 is going to be coming out here real soon. I'll definitely be playing that. Terraforming, great question. Um, let's take a look for a second. So here's industry. Uh, we're going to have bloomeries. Demo launch, 1900 uh, Central European time. You can remove two lumberjacks. The issue isn't the workers, but the oxen are bu busy moving the wood to the construction site instead of from the forest into the camp. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, so demo tomorrow what uh, 1900 Central European time. Uh which do which flavors my favorite Mountain Dew? I drink Mountain Dew Zero pretty much exclusively. Ah, uh, it's raining. First house is almost done. We've got one person working on it right now. Look at that. Ah. Oh, I just love it. I love watching the construction go up. Maybe a road to the logging. Oh, look at that. Look at the detail here. Look at the puddles forming on the road. And even just the reflection. That, that is really, really cool. 
Like, it legit, like, let's go to real time. It legit looks like we're watching a medieval village happening. I, I really appreciate little things like that. Just the different colors and the way the puddles are forming. You're seeing the fence go up around the plot. Oh, that's, that is really nice. Uh, 7 o'clock CET. CET doesn't help the Americans in the chat, though. <laughs> I think that's like noon Eastern. Noon or 1 o'clock Eastern. Do I like George V? Um, I'm indifferent toward George V. I'm a huge fan of his son, George VI, though. Um, it does look like a medieval banished. I agree. There, the first plot is complete. Peasants are coming to your village. This is great, but watch your supplies. Hungry and cold peasants can rebel. So, uh, number one, let's get a road going from here to there. So let's do that. Which is already muddy and puddly. I like it. East Coast time is, yeah, that's what I thought. Seven hours off. So, so noon Eastern time. So that should help with that. Um, how many logs do we have now? We've got 44 berries, so that's nice. We're starting to get a decent amount of food. We've got six timber. Uh, so we can go ahead now and um, not log in camp. That's not what we need. Hold on. Chill man, thank you so much. Can't wait to see my son play for the U.S. men's national team. Uh, I would love that. He's he's come he's come a long way. He was a goalie when he first started playing travel soccer, uh, and then on his club team he was a striker uh, and a midfielder. And now he's kind of settled in really nicely to right back on his high school team. And I think he's actually really gonna gonna shine as a as a right back. Uh, he's also still playing some midfield, center, defensive, mid. I think. Actually, I think center defensive mid's an even better position for him. Oh, we're going to do two plots there. All right, so that'll give us five total. King Charles II. Um, not, I don't have a lot of strong opinions on the kings of that era. Uh, I really feel like they didn't have too large of an impact on things. Am I going to look at the Canadian Expeditionary Force during my trip? Absolutely, Owen. Um, already been kind of studying up on some of the Canadian exploits. The 10th Canadians... Um, during the, I think it was the second battle of Ypres, uh, just incredible stories of bravery. Uh, definitely going to be covering the Canadians, uh, on this trip. Yeah. Um, Caleb's not, he, he's not like super fast. He's got a ton of endurance, my son, uh, but excellent foot skills, uh, and, and a super smart player. He knows how to play his position. Uh, and I think all of those things make for a good right back. He's played left back. He's played center defensive mid. They've had him up as an attacker. Um, but especially on defense, like he, he knows the position really well. And he can lock, lock guys down pretty good. All right, there's three of them that are done. And I love they all look a little different too. You see that? Like they don't all look exactly the same. So I love that little bit of variety that you see. You've got the smoke rising from them. Oh, and your great-great-grandfather was one of them. What unit was he in? Because I would love to try and tell their story if I can. Yeah, Vimy Ridge, epic stuff, absolutely. I tell you what, the more I learn about the Canadians, uh, the more I am in awe of how hardcore they were as fighters, uh, especially in the Great War, but also in World War II. So transporting some timber. Uh, let's take a look at our current status of things. We've got 20 firewood. Um... I'm guessing once we finish these plots, that's going to be one of the next things we're going to have to deal with, because um, right now we're into June, so we're, we're, you know, winter's going to approach pretty quickly, I would guess. Here comes our last two houses. Jacob and Jacob are working hard, and Ott and Tommen. What moment that I really liked about the Queen's reign? I talked about some of this over on my other channel. Um, there's a few things that stand out to me. 
Um, one big one was when she went to the Republic of Ireland and opened her speech at the state dinner, speaking Gaelic, which I thought was really touching and I think did a lot of good to start maybe healing some very painful things that exist between the royal family and Ireland and England and Ireland. How did I get the demo? They emailed me the key about two hours ago. Uh, it comes out in about 16 hours. It'll be available to the public. So fear not. Tomorrow you can get your hands on it. It was an American... Uh, born in England of Douglas Scottish descent. So we're related then, Owen, because I'm descended from the Douglas family. Douglas, MacDonald, and Stuart are, and Hamilton are my Scottish lines. Where's the game set in the world? Uh, Germany, Franconia. Yeah, Germany. So I might have to, when I get the, the game for real, like when we can actually save and stuff. Can't save on the demo. Obviously, a lot of features not available yet, uh, but already looks so, so good. The rain stopped. Look at Just look at the mountains in the distance and the clouds passing behind them. Uh, we'll go to real time and just let you see that. I mean, that just looks so good. I love it. Whoa, what was that? Oh, there was a tree coming down behind me. I'm like, oh my gosh, what happened? Um, no, you get the demo tomorrow. The same demo that I have now, which is playable, but not all the features are available and you can't save. So I'm just kind of going through the the um, the tutorial right now. We're about to complete um, our last home to get all of our families. And so you can see there's approval that we have to worry about. So let's look at these. Uh, statistics over here. Our settlement level has increased. Uh, so now, as you walk the perimeter, surveying your village with pride, a woman walks past you. She's bent nearly double under a sack. You ask how long she's been walking. She said it takes half a day to get all the food she needs for her family from the hunters and farmers that surround the village. If only there were a marketplace. Okay. So we need three more plots for families. We need a food stall, a firewood stall, and a clothing stall. And we have, what, five years to get it done. So, definitely doable. I don't think I've built my Lord's house yet. You kind of disappointed the rain stopped. It was kind of relaxing. Um, yeah, England doesn't really have mountains like that. Scotland does. Scotland's got some stuff that looks a little like that. Is there a war that flew under my radar and when I started learning about it, I got really engrossed about it? World War I was that for me for a long time. It was only about two years ago that I really took an interest in World War I and now I'm obsessed with it. Uh, there's nothing that I like try to consume everything I can about like World War I right now. And that's why uh, two of my first three trips to Europe for making content for vlogging through history have been World War I trips primarily. Um, all right, so let's look at these here. Unassigned families. Um, we've got another family that needs assigned. Um, we've got assigned families. We've got a total population of 13. Uh, f looks like nine men, four women, peasants all. Our approval right now is 47%, uh, mainly because of homelessness. It's not higher, so we need to do that. There's public order. Governs the chance of a crime occurring. So crime is a thing. Here's our regional wealth. There's our livestock. We just have the one oxen right now that we're using to kind of drag things around. Number of months before supplies run out. Um, food, there you have that. So let's take a look at our food situations. Mostly berries, a little bit of bread. Um, but we need five more burgage plots and a church to reach the status of medium village. Uh, what do I think of Liz Trust? Um, don't know a lot about her. I, I, I confess I'm not really up to date on the in, ins and outs of UK politics right now. Um, I mean, I know she's conservative, so she probably leans to the same side politically that I do. Um, I get the feeling she's probably more conservative than I am. Um, but yeah, um, I mean, we had a guy, we, we have a couple of people from the developer crew in here. 
Um, and in the email that I got, um, it definitely said that the game will be released to the public tomorrow at 1900 uh, CET. So, no release date. Manor is the house of the Lord. Yes. Um, all right. So, we need, uh, what do we need? We need three more plots and we need these stalls. Let's start with those. Um, so, let's put our stalls, I don't know, maybe somewhere around in here. Not sure what I what I need to do here. Let's figure it out. Maybe we do we have to have a market area first? Yeah, allows placing market areas. That's why. So we've got to designate an area for the market, which we're gonna put right there. Gotcha. UK conservatives ain't cons okay. Fair point. Fair point. So yeah, um, UK conservatives are probably not as conservative as I am. All right, so there's that. We'll put our firewood stall right there. And then our clothing stall, which I'll kind of rotate that direction. I might have wanted to face those in, but we'll face them all out. Uh, yes. Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, we will definitely take a look at that when the new beta comes out and we get the full mode. Man, there's so many games I want to play right now. My goodness. I need to try and wrap up my CK3 series so I can get to some of those other things. Um, I'm, I'm going to try to stay away too much from questions not related to the game because I, I really want to focus on the game on this. Um, so the history related questions and the political questions and stuff, I'll probably, probably not answer too many of those because I want to focus on this game a little bit. Um, all right, so we've got the stalls queued up. Looks like they're working on those now. Um, let's go ahead and start queuing up some more plots for our villagers to live in. I don't know if we're going to be able to get one in there or not. It doesn't look like we will. Probably too narrow. Um, let's, let's try over here. Uh, can't quite get three because we don't have the resources for it. Let's try to find another spot. Maybe we'll go over here. don't have the resources all oh, because you know what we're using our our timber for the uh, for the other construction that's why all right so let's go back over here go, keep an eye on food and wood yep um, so we got a good supply of berries right now timber not so much so we need to need to rack up more timber and I, probably once we get these stalls done we'll do a little better with that hey. Problem is, I don't think we have enough workers for all the things that we need right now. Yeah, Draken, I believe. I think it's. A, a, I agree with you 100%. Looks very good. Let's look at these stalls that are coming together. Look at that. Even when it rains, look at the the rain, how it reflects on the table. Look how just detailed, how pretty that looks. Just the level of detail in the, the reflections and stuff. So good. Really appreciate little things like that. And it runs really smooth, too. I mean, it, it, there's no issue with that. Pantry limit reach. Build more granaries. Alright, so let's look. We've got one timber right now. <coughs> My family's doing well. How about yours? 
Ernest, yeah, that should be a good series, Cleveland and Tampa. I think we just played them not too long ago. Are the road structures, uh, etc., demolishable? Good question. Uh, and the answer is yes, right there. It's a work in progress. Uh, it says, please use sparingly. In the final game, there will be a proper demolition process. Deleting snapped manor modules might leave gaps. It teleports resources to the nearest building to save them. So there you go. The message also shows up when a house has a full pantry. Okay, that's probably what happened then. Somebody grabbed all the food that they needed and filled it up. All right, so now we just need the three plots and we're good. We've got six timber available to us. So let's go ahead and start building these new plots that we need. I don't think we can build over there. We can probably at least throw one in here. Yeah, we can get two right there. Excellent. And we just need one more somewhere, like right here. Perfect. So that'll get us the three more that we need. Um, we're good on firewood. Still good on berries. I actually haven't gone down and bred any. So I think we're, we're all right for now. Mahomes already with a touchdown in less than one minute. Lovely. I hope Kyler Murray's doing a little better because uh, Kyler Murray's my quarterback for my um, fantasy team, and he's not had a good start so far to the season. But I think I might get my first win today. I'm 0-3 for the first time ever. The roads do look like they are part of the nature. That's what I really like. We're into July now, so we're into the summer. Um, and... I'm going to speed things up a little bit so we can get these last three plots built and um, advance to the next level of village here. There, here comes the sun. Oh, look at that. Look at that view of the valley over there. That's really cool. Definitely has a Germany vibe to it. I like it. I just built my house to the rear to the road. Ah, oh, well. It's not a savable demo anyway, so as soon as I'm done with this stream, it's all going away. Uh, the, the game, the demo will be available tomorrow uh, at noon Eastern time. But it's just a demo. You can't save, but you can at least try it out. It's playable. Not all the features are available yet. Did I have a girlfriend? I had a fiancé with a surname Walpole. She was a direct descendant of uh, the first prime minister of... Uh, Britain. Uh, no, I built I built this from scratch. Um, this is one that it, it it says you're the first lord of this area. So, uh, so all right. So Manor Lords Discord has a special section. I'll definitely be joining that Manor Lords Discord um, to get feedback and interact with everybody. So. Definitely something if you guys use Discord, check that out. Matthew, thank you for that. Family joins one of the settlers. So we're getting some new families. We're up to 24 in population now. Uh, Scottish Mad Lad. Yeah, I know I wasn't planning on streaming tonight, but then I got, uh, I got this uh, demo of the game, uh, and I wanted to play it as soon as possible because I have just been dying to get my hands on this game for a long time. Uh, all right, so we're on 16 times speed. We're into September now. Where are these folks going? They must be going over here to gather some resources or something. So what are we down to? Okay, that's months before supplies run out. We've got more people now, which means they're going to go through our food faster. Um, let me look at our... Oh, okay, berries are out so they're actually they're they're going over here to gather the berries. That's what's happening. Exposed storage. What is this game about? Um, you are the lord of a manor, and you get to build. Um, in this case, I'm building my settlement. I got to create my own um, coat of arms. Uh, eventually, you can recruit an army. You can conquer other territories. Let me zoom out and show you what I mean. Uh, this is kind of the area where we are, but you can see we're actually in just one little part of a much 
larger map. Uh, and it looks like you can use influence or favor to claim. Uh, you can also conquer eventually, obviously, with um, uh, there's trade. You know, there's different resources that are available in different areas of the map. But you can see everything that's available here. And then you can zoom right back into it. It's really, really cool stuff. It is kind of, it's in the feudalism era. Build a hunter's cabin is an excellent idea. I've mostly been following the uh, the tutorial, but hunting definitely seems like uh, the right way to go here. Let's take a look. Uh, I guess that's farming. Um, we want village life, I think. Yeah, here we go. Oh, there's church. We're gonna need to build a church at some point. Where's the hunter? I know that's something on here. Gathering. That's where it is. Hunting camp. Okay. There we go. There's a wild animal over here. Um, may cause migration. So I guess we want to maybe be in that area. We're near where I'll see all the animals that are over here. Check that out. Look at all the deer. Oh my goodness. There's some nice, nice ones too. Um, so we'll build that hunting camp over here. Star Wars Genius, yes. Um, when I started, it gave me the, like this is the only available option is the one where you're basically building from nothing. But there are other options uh, for the starting conditions for the game as well. Uh, in this time period, there would, would be just, just the Catholic Church in this area. What side would I support in the Seven Years' War? Prussia. The side Prussia's on. They do move in herds. Alright, so we're still waiting. On, oh, we need level 2 Burgage Plots. Okay, so how do we get them up to level 2? Here's our requirements. Um, so we need three different types of food available in the marketplace. Uh, we need firewood or charcoal available in the marketplace. We need a well-placed underground water source uh, to be able to upgrade. So we need different kinds of food. And obviously hunting will help with that. Um, yeah, that's not what I wanted. Um, and then there's a diplomacy map too. The map is handmade, so no changes. But the resources placement are always random. Okay, very cool. Um, yeah, we definitely need to, to get some more wood cutting going. Let's get to work. We've still got 60 berries. We're getting low on bread. We've still got plenty of time to do that. What's, uh, what else were we working on as far as the, uh, we need two more burgage plots and a church. So village life would be where we'd find a church. Um, awesome. Let's get the church going right there. That's going to require eight, which we have six right now. Um, your great great grandfather's war uh, role in the Great War. Um, yeah, uh, Owen, do this for me. Send me an email to vlogging through history. All one word, vlogging through history at gmail.com. All lowercase. Send me an email. Tell me what you know. Tell me his name. Tell me where he lived. Any information you know about him, and I'll see what I can find for you. I'm very curious to know um, where he was and, and, and what unit he was with. I love finding those personal stories like that. Um, some of you guys have seen me when I did my interview with the history chick. I actually helped her find one of her uncles. Uh, the unit he was in, and he was in a Canadian unit. Uh, helped her with that the other night. Let them eat cake. Okay, Marie Antoinette. Um, all right, so we're low on food and fuel. Um, definitely something we need to keep an eye on, but uh, we're working on farming, so that'll help. I mean, uh, hunting, so that'll help with that. Let's get two hunters going. And there's the hunting area, of course. There's 41 wild animals over there. Getting our church going. 
man you can see it's a bigger construction project so they've got the um, they've got the, the construction really going to town here love watching this look how many workers we've got doing this move over to CK3 kind of like how you can do with the paradox games where you can move from one to the other yeah like you can go CK3 to EU4 to Victoria to Hearts of Iron So the church is going up. Yes, you can uh, eventually build a keep in this game. Let me show you um, under construction, administration and military. So Bailey Wall, med uh, minimum set settlement needed as a medium village. You can create a closed wall perimeter to designate the area for your manor house. Requires a gatehouse for construction to start. Here's the manor house. Uh, must be built within a bailey. Provides living space for five peasants. Uh, features locked in the demo. Unlocks policies in the region. Eventually there will be policies and laws will be a part of this game, which is really cool. <laughs> At least tax the peasant for it. Um, there's the tax collector that you can build. Enables tax collection in your region. And then a garrison tower for 12 retainers. Uh, of course, there's trade, trading post, and livestock trading post. Uh, there's going to be industry, tannery, weaver, brewery, malt house, smithy, bloomery, um, you know, pastures, sheep farm, windmill, communal oven, farm, and field. Castles a work in progress. Franconia is in Germany, not in France. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. Uh, there's a lot that isn't available yet, but this is definitely at least wetting our appetite for what is going to be such a phenomenal game. It's October now. We're getting close to winter. Hopefully we get the church up by then. How are we doing on food? Um, we're just about out of bread now. We don't have any meat yet. We do have some firewood available, so that's good. Bringing government to peasants, taxes, and no venison. Just bread and milk. Charlie, you will be able to build an army in this game. There's actually an army tab down here. Military recruitment and army down at the bottom. Most interesting ancestor that I've found. Um, so, oh, look at that. Even got ladders going up to the top where they're building the church. Um, other than my famous ancestors... Um, like P Pocahontas, both of my parents are descended from Pocahontas. Yes, winter is coming. Um, of my non-famous ancestors, um, I have an ancestor on my dad's side who um, captured and hanged an ancestor on my mom's side. So that was pretty epic. That was during the Revolutionary War. Um, I have a piece of the tree that the ancestor was hanged from right here. Um, I named my settlement Edwin Stowe, which is where my paternal, like my 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 father's father's father family comes from in England, even though this isn't England. Um, so that was pretty epic. Um, my wife's a direct descendant of Thomas More, who's a Catholic saint and, um, and Jeffrey Chaucer. So that's pretty, pretty cool. Um, Let's see. Yeah, I know she had a, a, a name in her, her native tongue that was not Pocahontas. But Pocahontas is how most people remember. Look at it. everything turned to fall. Look at the colors. Oh, that is so cool. Look at that beautiful view into the valley of all of the colors as we get into the fall. Um, I had an ancestor who died in one of the last major battles of the American Revolution, a place called Blue Licks, Kentucky. He was killed fighting alongside Daniel Boone's son. Actually, Daniel Boone was there, too. Uh, and Daniel Boone is my uncle. Uh, I'm descended from two of his sisters. So is the church almost done? We've got guys finishing up the church right now. Uh, Food-wise, we still have just berries, no meat. They might still be working on the church, and maybe they haven't started. No, we, the hunting camp is there. We don't have any workers yet in the hunting camp. Maybe we're waiting for them to finish up 
once they build the church, maybe we'll get some people working in the hunting camp. All right, there we go. The, no, no, church is not done. What do we uh, What do we need here, folks, to get this church done? Let's look inside the church. Look at that. We can actually go inside our church and look around in there. That's pretty neat. And they're still working on it. They haven't quite finished building it yet. Humble but beautiful. Absolutely. When a peasant dies, a grave will be erected next to the church. Okay, very cool. I don't have any free workers. Yeah, that's what I, I figured. Once, once construction's done on the church... That's a good looking church. I like it. I, I just love the attention to detail. All right, church is done. Bell sound. Will that like get our people inside? Or we can choose the bell sound. Oh, cool. That's nice. You can choose what bell sound your church makes. Pretty neat stuff right there. All right. Now, are we going to be able to get some workers for our hunting? I'm not related to Lincoln that I'm aware of. I didn't mean the church itself. I meant construction of the church is what I thought was maybe reserving work, was using workers. Take my money, he said. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, the bell's ringing. Really neat. Really neat stuff. I mean, I, the, the thing that I keep saying about the level of detail, let's look at the detail on the door of the inside of the church. Just look at that. And somebody just opened the door and came in. Um, there's the ladies leaving church. Uh, the that level of detail just I feel like it immerses you and connects you to these people and like I can already see how like um, when I get into a battle and somebody gets killed that I'm like really gonna like mourn the loss of these people uh, building hunter camp I have um, we already gathered all the berries so um, so I think we need to maybe take some, some workers away from some other areas uh, so we can get some workers going with hunting. Same with foraging. I don't think we have a lot of foraging we can do right now. Yeah, this is going to be way better in Farthest Frontier. I can see that already. All right, now we've got two workers for our hunting camp. So we can start getting some meat going now. Yeah, there's no more uh, resources available right now for our forager hut. It's a seasonal resource. So, uh, Does the church have a parsonage? Good question. I don't think so. Reserve workers are set to work in other production buildings. You have five workers and they're already employed. Gotcha. All right, so um, there's the assigned families, unassigned families. So there's a there's an emergency mode if your oxen get stuck. So I guess there's probably not a lot of... I, I haven't hit listened to Sabaton's new song yet, but I, I am aware of it. Um, so... Yeah, we're low on supplies right now. Let's start speeding up. There, we're getting some meat now. We've got six meat. We've got one bread left. Um, so I don't know if that's enough. If it, yeah, we're still we need two food types. Um, and I guess once they, if these folks get a second food type, then we'd be good to go. Can we see inside the house a little bit? Yeah. So once we get. Oh, do we need to do that at the marketplace? Clothing stall, food stall. So I don't know, does the food, 
like does the marketplace automatically sell like does the food stall just sell all sorts of foods i'm guessing it probably does yes there there is combat in the game he had to literally 3d scan the doors i can totally believe that just from the level of detail involved that he did that and i i love that attention to detail i i, I really do believe that some of those things just like the way things look like with the paths and the and, and the, the the standing water in those areas the way things look in the distance the real feel that you can tell this is fall um you know the watching construction happen the, the bell for the church those little attention to detail type things i think are going to set this apart in what is kind of a crowded market um for this type of game uh, and of course the the combat mechanic and and being able to make your um your coat of arms and those kinds of things. Lorne, thank you. Um, yeah, wasn't planning on being live tonight, but uh, this 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 release of this demo um, was worthy of going live. Turn the rain into wine. All right, so uh, we've got 30 meat now, 30 berries. Eventually, of course, we're going to need other things as well we need two more burgage plots uh, we've got 22 timber so we've got plenty available um so let's go you know we should probably extend our roads out a little bit so maybe let's go this way get some more roadage going on here and then i'll put I'll put one right here go all the way across to there and that'll build I was gonna build two long plots but that's fine do you need a building to make firewood uh, yeah I think it's I don't know is that done by the logging camp no that just does timber so they must do firewood automatically because we are generating firewood um, Maybe one of the guys can answer that about firewood. Wow, snow. This must be Canada. No, it's Germany. Look at that. Oh, that looks so good. The seasons all look fantastic. How about this guy's name? Let's not talk about that. He's carrying some meat. Look at that. Oh, look at that. That looks good. He, and he's hanging it up. Oh, my gosh. Look at the hooks. Look at the hooks that are hanging. Oh, just those little details I love. I absolutely love. Yeah, noon Eastern time, um, 1900, seven, like 7 in the evening, uh, Central European time is the release of this demo that I'm playing right now. All right, so we're, we're low on fuel. So how do we get more firewood? My thoughts on the game so far, uh, it's going to be great. I love the attention to detail. I love the building mechanics. I mean, it, you know, it's very similar to a lot of games like Banished and that kind of stuff. But there are certain things that are definitely going to set it apart. Uh, here's the region map. We can zoom out and see. Um, there's going to be trade, of course. We haven't really tapped into the trade yet. Um... We can go take a look at me. Here I am. I can actually walk around. Let's go visit the village, shall we? Let's go walk amongst the people, shall we? Um, so here's me. Take a look at me with my epic beard. Let's go uh, explore. Is that an outhouse? Those people have outhouses. That's fantastic. Check gathering. There are three forest-related buildings. Okay. I don't think you can build a castle yet. I can run. All right, there we go. Hold down shift to run. Long live the king. I'm not a king yet. Uh, here's our our meat, uh, the, the food stall guy doing his thing again. And she's get, carrying some off. So that's kind of cool that we can kind of walk around and explore everything. I like that. Just hit escape to get out of it. All right, so uh, gathering woodcutter lodge. There we go, firewood, woodcutter. 
Let's get on that. Like, we should have done it already, but... Won't take long to build. Outhouse, there's a tax for that. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes, uh, 7 p.m. European time, 12 noon Eastern U.S. time is when this demo will release to the public. Pantry limit reach, yeah, that's fine. Um, so again, we have to have um, varying fuel types, or food or, um, food types, enough water and fuel in order to meet the requirements to upgrade to level two with our plots. Sediment level increased. Not enough money to pay for royal taxes. New development point. Uh, so I don't know if the development points are a thing yet in the game. Pay upcoming royal tax. Now we have King's Demands. The region of Edwinstow, you are hereby on omission of debt for the lands on which the royal crown has granted stewardship to the Honorable Chris. A tax is to be levied upon the land to be paid in precious wealth or labor. Failure to submit payment will find the lands forfeit to the governance under the stewards and returned to the crown. All right. The king demands. We have one year uh, to do that. Yes, you can take over other manors. That is something that's available. You can claim with influence. You can claim with favor. You can use your military. So development point. Um, here we go. Um, we have two available points. Those are not yet available. Uh, in the demo of the game, but this is eventually uh, Development points are going to allow you to basically like research if I understand it, right? Um, basically, it's what we're doing is we're unlocking new Things that we can do. There's also a policy page and there's a production page uh, that is not available in the demo Puts on tricorn hat and grabs musket. I love it you're a minor, minor noble in the Holy Roman Empire. That's right. Um, all right. So, yeah. People are cold because I forgot to set up firewood cutting like an idiot. We are working on that right now. It's over here somewhere. Where did I put that? So people might die because I forgot to do firewood. Just look, even just like going through the woods and you can see like there's no snow in the areas where the trees have blocked the snow. The game will always be a city builder first and RTS second, so don't expect big battles and stuff you see in Total War. Yeah, totally. And, and you know what, honestly, I like that because I like the fact that we will have like a small number of people that we actually know, and so losing one will really mean something, right? It's not just, all right, you know, we lost 50 guys in that battle, no big deal. It'll really hurt you if that happens. There are uh, woodcutters complete. I can't remember where I put it, though. There's our forager hut. Is there a way to see, like, our work... Um, yeah, there we go. Assigned families. So we've got a lot of sellers right now. We have unassigned families. Here we go. Oh, we can change... Can we change their names? We can. Awesome. So I can rename these folks, too. That's pretty sweet. I like that. I put it by the group of deer. Did I? I, I must have, like been out of sorts as far as my viewpoint of things. I thought I put it way up here by the logging camp. Straight roads and everything lined up nicely. Right under the forager hut. Okay. And the forager hut was over here. I'm so lost right now. 
See, I can see that one. You can relocate buildings, it looks like. So there's the royal tax, 59 days until paid. See, I should have put roads to these places, then this wouldn't have happened to me. There's the hunting camp. They're easier to see when it's not winter. There's the forager hut, so is it right under there? Right there, there it is. All right, I got it. Let's get some woodcutters going before everybody dies. We've got 30 people now. In the trees! Yeah, I got it. Just don't name them after friends and family members, then it hits harder when something happens. That's fair. I have played Colonize Mason. And I enjoyed that as well. I feel like this is going to be a lot better, though. And I, and I was really pretty excited about Colonize. Um, so here we go. We have 200 influence. Influence can be traded via diplomacy system, can be gained by giving taxes to the church, rising population, building new manners, and improving development. We have zero king's favor. Every year, the most influential lord or lady is being awarded with the king's favor. That can be spent to claim new territories. Because our, our lord somehow lost a building. Yeah, that's fair. We have one firewood left, so it's not all is not lost yet. All right, there went the last of the firewood. Oh, here comes more. All right, we've got a lot of timber available right now, so um, the options to build more buildings are there once we can get through the current season of things. Got to pri prioritize the war mechanics, and then you've created a new genre because there's always an endless supply of city builders. I agree, and I think that's why that's going to be... It's a city builder first, like they said. Um, but uh, what else can we build here? Forester hut, woodcutter lodge. Um, I'm kind of thinking we're going to need to have other sources of food. So I'm thinking farming for next year. Let's look at barley fertility areas. All right, we're going to put a field right there. Obviously, we're going to probably need some other stuff too for that. But we'll at least start there. Oh, no, we don't want that. We need emmer for grain. And then you can rotate crops, so that's cool. For now, we're just going to leave it like that. Is this game on Steam? It will be tomorrow. Got to ask the king for more land. Just can't send my chancellor to fabricate a claim. That's right. Uh, you need the level two houses to get to a medium village. So I can't build the manor yet. That's what I'm trying to get to. That's why I want to build the farm. Because I want to get um, enough varying types of food to be able to do that. We also have a, a water issue. I don't know if I built the well in the wrong place or if I just need another one. It must be placed on a water vein, so... There, you can kind of see the water vein through the snow. Usually start your village by checking fertility and water, plan where to place the starting stuff and place Yeah, that makes total sense. Once once I've played the game a little bit, I'll definitely do more of that. Three types of units: militia, which are peasants, mercenaries, and then ret retinue, which you'll be able to customize. I love it. Love the idea of being able to customize your retinue. That is fantastic. Little things like that are just oh, they're so good. All right, we're thawing out. We're getting into February now. All right, our field uh, is going to need some workers, I think. Oh, I don't know if that happens automatically or if we're going to need to assign that in some way.
taverns and churches there, farming, uh, pasture. Oh, we do need to build the farm. We have to actually have the farm itself. There we go. So we'll put that right there across from the field. All my serfs have houses, but the Lord is homeless. Yeah, that's fair. How's the smell in the village? Good question. The smell is good because we don't have animals yet. Um, so we're good on that. But excellent question to ask. Farms under construction. Eventually we probably want more than one field, but time to get the mower goat out. Yeah, um, tomorrow, guys, definitely get this demo when it comes out. I want to try and at least get to the medium uh, village size during this stream if I can. I'll definitely be playing more of this, though. All right, we've got seven of eight requirements here. Once we get some more food types, we'll be in good shape. All right, we've got a decent amount of firewood built up now, so I think we're going to remove one of the woodcutters go back to our forager hut and start getting some foragers going again. Alright, our farm is finished. Look how many people can work the farm. That's cool. So let's make some slots for farmers. Look how muddy that field is. That's so cool. Wouldn't the Lord be able to intrude in people's houses for a place to sleep and food to eat? Uh, we got to watch the uh, the tax. We got 326 days. We're gonna need a tax collector, which we're not gonna have, I don't think, by then. It's just another kind of zoo. Uh, that's fair. All right, we don't have enough workers, so um, we're gonna need to take some workers from elsewhere. Yeah, we have. Let's look at our assigned families. Do we have that many people working as sellers? I don't think we need that many. Um, all right, let's go back to our woodcutter lodge. We only have one working there. Hunting camp, we have two. Um, we don't have a lot of meat right now. More houses equals more workers. All right, good point, good point. And we've got plenty of timber for building more houses. So let's do that. Village life. Let's get some more plots going. Three there. So that'll give us five more. We do not have any farmers, though. That's a problem that I definitely need to rectify, even if it means removing one of our hunters for now. There, now we've got at least one farmer going. A house, a house, my kingdom for a house. I'm just looking around at everything here. Next harvest in 127 days. Well... I doubt we're going to be ready for that. It's raining. Look at that. Even the roof looks wet. And we've got some rocks in the middle of the road here. What is this? Uh, threshing priority medium and high. We'll leave it on medium for now. Oh, good point about the clothing stall. There, now we've got two farmers, and as soon as we get some more people in the village, we'll be able to do some more. Hey, Owen, take care, man. Oh, House of the Dragon is on tonight. Oh, that's right. I'm like a couple episodes behind. I need to get caught up. All right, we got nine meat, 25 berries. We're 
We're working on the new houses. We're not going to have the money for taxes. Yeah, we're going to need the mill in the oven. You're right. Uh, that's going to be under farming. So we'll get our windmill going right next to the farm. And then our communal oven. Can we throw that? Oh, we can throw that right there. Yeah, and then a road right here. Good call. Let's check out our farmer at work in the field. Very cool. She's not going to get much done on her own. We do have three farmers now. Let's queue up some more room for that. Can you post links to two Discord upload screenshots of Manor Lords uh, aerial views? Um, I don't know if it'll let you do that in here or not, but please do if you can. I, I, I may have to approve it, but that's fine. I can certainly do that. So let's speed back up. All right, we got got a bunch of people working the fields now, so that's good. Working on some more plots. We're up to 37 people in the village now. There's an outhouse. I don't know. I just I really appreciate little touches like that. It just, it feels like a real village, you know what I mean? Like, like, just going through here, and I can even walk through it myself if I want to, uh, visit mode. It just, it feels real, you know what I mean? Good stuff. Alright, let's see, um... We're still waiting on the communal oven to be constructed and the windmill to be constructed. Let's speed back up now. Remember, none of this is savable, so I'm not going to worry too much about getting it just right. <laughs> Draken, I wish the USA were only $8 trillion in debt. I think we're over $30 trillion in debt now. Oh, look, another wasp. This has been an ongoing problem in this room. All right, we're still waiting on some of this other stuff to be built. Estimated harvest of 171 will be available in 88 days. Yeah, there's a visit mode here. Check it out. There I am. And I can even run. Walking through the village. This is just like a really cool feature that I really appreciate. There is a bush right in the middle of the road. Look at that. Was his name Stan? We did have one president made the national debt zero. Andrew Jackson. I just, I like that. I like that little feature right there. Let's walk through these people's uh, little gate area. I wonder if I can, like, go into their house. I can. After all, it's mine. It's all mine. Eighty-seven days till harvest. Hopefully by then we'll have uh, our mill and everything built so that we can turn this stuff into bread. 41 people in the village now. Have the links posted? I don't see anything, and I didn't see anything even that was hidden. 
Um, maybe when the stream's over, you'll be able to comment with it. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why it didn't show up. All right, so we have not much meat. I probably could use another um, another hunter in the hunting camp. Uh, we don't have anybody available right now. New family. There we go. Maybe that'll help with that. Oh, we never went in and... Uh, did I? Yeah, I did undo the person from the clothing stall. You can see because the clothing stall has no one, like, no thing over it. I have toured the, herm the Hermitage. I've been there. It is very cool. There goes our mill. These guys are working on the mill right now. A bunch of workers. Sweet hat that guy has right there. Fire Maneuver. I've played Fire Maneuver, yes. Alright, so we're finishing up the windmill. We've still got 18 timber, so there's plenty of that. We're out of meat. Darn it. We've got plenty of firewood available. That's not what I wanted to do. I don't know about e-spiracy. I haven't played that. I haven't seen it. Sweet hat? Yep, there's a tax for that. Now there's the uh, traveling merchant, which eventually we'll be able to interact with. Oh, hey, our crops are getting closer to harvest. 46 days. Look at that. Do I have access to a butcher yet? No. Just a hunter. Hunter, forager, forester, woodcutter, logging. We can build a trading post. We can sell surplus good to traveling merchants. Let's uh, queue that up. Maybe we can get some uh, money for the treasury to pay, pay our tax. I did, Nathaniel, get it a day early, and I'm very lucky. That's why I'm streaming this unexpectedly. Oh, we just did the harvest. Awesome. Holy cow, we're down to almost no berries all of a sudden. Plenty of crops. Look at all that grain. So, but we need to be able to turn it into something. So we need to get some people working in the windmill. Uh, we're going to cut cut back on the number of folks in the farm now. So we can have some folks in the windmill. Uh, and then we need to get our communal oven built. Pull a Peter the Great and institute a beard tax. Uh, TBA, uh, just that's because the, the release date of the actual game is to be announced. The, this is just a demo um, that just has some of the features, and that's coming out tomorrow. Yeah, Forester is definitely something I will get to long term. Windmill's working. So we're making flour, which we will then be able to turn into bread once the communal oven is complete. In the meantime, we're like out of food. Not a good situation. Now I assume that means the food that's available to the public, not the food that people have in their actual homes. I'm hoping they actually have food in their homes. Maybe not. Yeah, that'll be fine. You can send me the links on Discord and I can I can post them on here. We've got two people working in the hunting camp. They're just not getting much in the way of the hunting going on. Um, berries were super low on the available berries. 
Come on, let's get that oven done. There we go. Communal oven's done. Let's get some people working. Making some bread. Save us. The game's fantastic, man. I'm loving it so far. Um, any negative points? No, you know, it, it's... Listen, I, I can't really give negative points to a game where all we have is the demo that is on a work in progress. Uh, I don't think it's fair to judge the game negatively yet. Um, positives, it looks fantastic. Uh, and because it looks so fantastic, it's really immersive. As is like little features like being able to walk around with your manor lord and actually kind of like just see it through his eyes a little bit. Um, and you know, being able to make your um, your coat of arms and just the, the, the effects, like just looking at the puddles as things dry up after a rain and seeing the seasons change and um, the ability to kind of build things by making the four corners and kind of, it's not just a, a square plot and the detail on the doors of the church and things like that. Um, really appreciate that kind of stuff. I love that we can zoom out and see other manners that we will eventually be able to interact with in various ways, whether that's trade or militarily, uh, or eventually make part of our own domain. Uh, so I love all of those things. Let's zoom back out so I can kind of get my bearings again. All right, there's the communal oven. How are we doing? Uh, no bread yet. We've got lots of grain that we can turn into bread. There's some bread starting to happen. Here's our folks making the bread. See, even like the table where they're making the bread, you can see the reflection from how it's wet. Just love that kind of stuff. Thank you, Matthew. I appreciate that, um, that you pass that along. Um, Super high hopes for this game. It really excited and cannot wait to see how it develops. Um, all right, we've got berries, we've got bread, we don't have any meat. So we'll, we'll just kind of let it fast forward for a little while here. Have we built our trading depot yet? Our trading area? Um, there's our logging camp there. Our trading post is under construction. A little bit familiar with tabletop games, Joe Kinney. Trading post is going up. Love watching the um, the construction unfold. We're on 16 times speed right now. Construction is complete. So now let's take a look at the trading post. Uh, so we can trade for crops, food, materials. So that's all really good and important to know. Uh, open trade overview. Now this is where you can see um, the overview of trade with various places. Um, eventually we'll have, these are works in progress. Commodities, materials, food, etc. Uh, we can actually have a traveling trader that will travel to the nearest trade point to fulfill set inventory targets. I like that. We can upgrade it with trading carts if we have those available to us. That's cool. What games am um, I plan on playing? Victoria 3 for sure when that comes out. It's September, and you know, that's what I mean. It just, it looks like September, right? The the leaves are starting to change colors where they're not fully there yet. Uh, I mean, you can, you can click on your individual people and kind of see what they're up to. 
you can even occasionally see them uh, like talking and saying things like, I don't know what this dude's doing here. He didn't die, did he? Is he sleeping? Excuse me, sir. I can't click on him. So I don't know what the deal is there. Oh, there we go. Nope. Alright, so we're still, I mean, like, we're not keeping up with the food right now. We don't have anybody working in the communal oven. That would be why. The dude's dead, Jim. <laughs> I wondered if he was dead. Can someone bury him? Is that the town drunk, someone said. So I'm probably going to wrap up soon here, guys. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this some more on my own. Get better at the game. Get a feel for it. Uh, and then I'll upload some videos um, showing some of the later parts. Yeah, people are dying from hunger. That's what's happening. So um, always takes a few time playing a game to kind of get a feel for it and knowing the order you should build things in and when you want to make sure you have stuff. Uh, and when you want to follow the tutorial and when you want to kind of do some other things. So I will play this on my own some more. Uh, and then I'll, I'll give you an upload showing you some of the, um, the highlights um, of those later game features that are available right now. Uh, and I know that you, you guys will have access to the game tomorrow starting at noon Eastern U.S. time. That would be 7 p.m. Central European time. Um, so check the Discord PMs. All right, I will get those. He's dead. Congratulations. Thank you, Matthew, for that. Um, stop streaming when the tax base starts dropping dead. I've played a lot of Mountain Blade, Isaiah. So uh, in the meantime, if you're watching this after the stream, definitely check it out. Tomorrow, this demo that I just played is available to everybody uh, by then. And I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I have. Thank you guys. Check out some of the links in the description below to some of my other channels and some of the ways that you can support this. And thank you guys uh, for developing this game. It's going to be a lot of fun. Can't wait.